Well, it's officially bee season. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic. Lights. And spring has sprung and the bees are going crazy. I was not going to get into them this soon, but I asked my um my mentor that uh John who helps me a lot of times just make sure I'm doing right with my bees uh, he said oh yeah I went into mine yesterday I think you'll be okay we still have a chance for cold weather but I still think we're gonna be okay all are all are flying in pretty good so we just need to check on kind of see nice. make sure there's none swarming I got a big helper here let's see if I can get her she looks like uh, my own personal Oompa Loompa we gotta light this smoker this last year we did not pull fall honey because we wanted to give them a little extra oomph for winter and i think we did a good thing because as cold as our winter got this year i'm kind of glad we prepared and gave them a little extra honey so far i've got bees coming out of every one of my big boxes and I, I really want to know really want to know all right since there is no honey super that means i have nothing guarding me from seeing the queen right off so I want to check the top, make sure there's no queen on top, and I don't see any queen on top. Start opening this up. So I always start from one side to the other. That's what honey looks like, raw honey. That's fall honey. Now you see inside here, I don't know if you can see that, there's little bees in there. That is, uh, there's larva, bee larvae, that's uncapped brood, a lot of pollen being brought in. There's first signs of a queen has been on this on this uh on this sale so we're gonna see if we find her but hey i found evidence of her if you never can find your queen don't fret make sure you can find evidence of your queen all right all right this is why i hate plastic hive frames see these plastic hive frames i did not order these these came as an accident so they just gave them to me but they're worthless this is why See how they're broke right down here? Can y'all see that? See how they're broke? They don't they just don't hold the weight after about a year. Alright, so this is a strong hive. This is my third one to get into. The bottom's already this super here has already got some honey getting built up and it is slammed full of bees. This is the second half body. I mean, the worst thing about this is that they may have honey locked themselves. So what I'm going to do is kind of switch these around, take some of the honey supers that's right here out, put a blank one in the middle so that way she has room to lay. Because right now, to keep them from swarming is that she, you need to make sure she's got plenty of room to lay some new bees. Down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down All right, here's the queen. You see her? She's right. Let's see if I can center up. bottom there right there she went to the other side jumping from cliffs so high trusting our wings to fly sometimes we cry all right it's getting hot we got the cows moved over there with a fresh bale of hay. Let this ground start resting because that spring grass is really starting to kick out right here. But here's what we're going to do right now. Aiden's got some alfalfa and some rags. Even though Allie has been a milk cow and has been a phenomenal milk cow. Come on, girl. We still train them even in here. Come on. Hip, 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 hip. So we want her to get back in her old routine. We're going to close her back up in this stanchion. Son, she's put on some weight. <laughs> I could get it latched right here. I had milked in a 
while. So let's get to what we usually do, just same pattern. Move her tail out, got her some rags. I'm gonna act like we're gonna milk her. By doing this every, you know, day or two, just to get her back used to the routine. When you have a dairy cow, that's what you need to do. So she's doing good though. Doing good. See, standing still. I can touch all over, but no issue. That is a good milk cow. And good training on a milk cow. It's a little hot. I'm a little dirty from gardening. Getting the bees. Okay, I've come upstairs to clean. I wanted to give y'all a view of where we're at. Let's see if we can get this light on first. I don't actually, I don't know if it's plugged up. Oh, there we go. So I wanted to give y'all a view of where we're at. Uh, this is the boys' room. We are going to be putting shiplap on these walls. That's why they're not finished. But the ceiling is done. So let's let y'all look at that. The ceiling we are working on, we have wall up. They have started mudding in some of the areas. Um, this will also be shiplap here. You can see this is their door going out. Office space, which you can see we have begun the mudding process. Um, all of this area. I'm planning to get my sewing desk here. So if I need to come up and do an alteration, um, all of the bathroom back there is going to be shiplap. It's two except for just the ceiling. Uh, we have all the walls here done going down the stairs. The floor is a mess. So I'm in the process of cleaning that up. When you come up the stairs, you'll be right here at the office area, which will lead you into the boys room. And I wanted to show you all this. We had a lot of people that were concerned about the boys being able to get out. If there is a fire on that side of the house, which is their way out, their exit way, they have an emergency door right here that will lead them down and out into the garage. A hidden door in their closet. We've had that there. We have just never thought to mention it to you guys. So while I was in here, it just crossed my mind, the emergency door that's in the closet. There's going to be a set of shelves built over here. Went along. Um, we had to take quite some time off of the process of the, the week of ice and all of that. So we're excited to be making progress again. My eyes. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. This is the spring weather that I'm happy about. It's gorgeous outside, the wind is blowing, the animals are having a good time, the kids are playing, and I'm grilling. So that's the best way to finish out my day. That is what's fun about farming. You get to spend time with the kids. Happy Homestead, y'all.